I think we're looking into a, a quite interesting future regarding uh, uh, knowledge and uh, how we perceive knowledge um, uh, and where the importance of the uh, the physical uh, space is uh, will increase even more than it is today because um, I'm thinking a lot about the the uh, new generation growing up it's the first global digital networked uh, generation growing up um, where knowledge uh, is not only th something that you can find in books or uh, read uh, but you can you can use your your global network in uh, how to solve a, a problem in a in a video game or how to solve a, a mathematics problem uh, or a relationship problem maybe uh, where it's just as easy having uh, friends in Mexico City uh, as it is uh, going to the neighbor and knocking on the door and see if they want to play. Uh, you can play now 24-7 uh, with your global friends. Um, and we can already, we can see how the new generations uses the, the city and the spaces a bit differently than we did. Um, um, and... Um, I really don't have that much knowledge about it, so if there's anyone out there having any studies of, of looking at the new generation, how they use the city, it would be quite interesting. Um, but uh, in a totally um, non-academic uh, observation, um, we uh, they use the space not as much as we do. Uh, when we were younger, we, we explored the city because we didn't, we didn't know where people were. So we had to explore and, and see and, and explore the spaces we, uh, we, really, we didn't really knew existed. Uh, but today they, they hang around in, their, in, in different locations, but together in the digital world. Um, and uh, if we then try to see um, what that means in the uh, in the physical environment, um, then we need to figure out what what does the physical world uh, have as a uh, unique uh, selling point uh, compared to the digital. Um, and um, I, I read a, a few weeks ago an article from. Uh, uh, Institute of Future, uh, where they um, discussed um, the uh, they looked at 2030 and to see in uh, what skills would be um, highly regarded and what skills would be um, not as uh, valuable, uh, and they were talking a lot about the um, uh, emotional um, intelligence, um, and. I, I think that's there's something in there that's uh, interesting that we maybe kind of going back to to the real uh, basics of human beings what kind of what uh, regards uh, our our primary uh, nature uh, where our senses will probably be even more um, valuable uh, because uh, if you look at the smell and the texture and the the um, um, the um, inner emotions that will be hard in in terms of at least at the future twenty years uh, how uh, that will be solved in the digital world so that would be probably quite unique for the physical um, and I therefore think that the the, um, the the physical spaces and how we design our cities will um, be uh, Quite interesting that it, the the uh, the um, the qualities of the room where where you can where you can have use your senses in in smelling and uh, the sounds and uh, the texture and uh, just uh, looking people in the eye um, that will that will be the unique um, attribute compared to the digital spaces. Um, so therefore, I think that the the uh, what we work with quite hard today that quite uh, create a tempo and an atmosphere and an inclusive city uh, and spaces uh, we're on the right track but I think we need to 
maybe uh, squeeze it up a little bit more because we still have the functionality of the city quite high in our uh, in our uh, agendas uh, where the traffic system and and uh, another f functionalistic ways of approaching the city is qu still quite dominating uh, and that that's quite opposite to create a city where the senses uh, can be explored uh, so I would see that the, the, the uh, a greener city, uh, a more sitable city, and a walkable city uh, will be uh, even more important uh, for the future, uh, for the cities to uh, be uh, competitive and to be attractive. Because if you can learn everything, or mostly anything, um, at home or in a digital university, why should you visit a space or a place? Uh, then it needs some unique uh, attributes uh, compared to other ones. Uh, and if you can, com if you choose from a, a city where the uh, senses uh, will be able to get their get their treat compared to other ones, which is, is more functionalistic, I would say the the other ones with the uh, senses will be even more interesting. Um, and that kind of also relates to how the universities and the schools are, uh, what role they play in, these, in the city planning. Uh, they need to be an integrated and inclusive part of the city uh, and um, um, maybe to be able to um, absorb the, the positive attributes of, of the city.